I was gonna start this video off with one of those, the year is 2012 and this is happening and this is happening. But I'm a little tired of those, honestly, because I feel like it's being run into the ground. So if you want to know what 2012 was like, just go look at Gangnam Style or call me maybe. But on a more relative note, in 2012, our friends over at 2K Sports were plotting to basically get the NBA 2K series as big as this now become. And they had some big ideas for the follow up to 2K12, including all new customization options for my players, the first 3v3 multiplayer, and my team, of course. But even on top of all of those game modes, we were getting some other little features to be excited about in this game, like the return of the Dream Team and the 2012 Olympic Team. And of course, Jay-Z was gonna be producing the soundtrack. And I could never forget to mention the most dominant squad of out of place hoopers we've seen since the Monstars or that kid from Thunderstruck who stole Kevin Durant's talent. Of course, I'm talking about the 2K13 Celebrity All-Star Team. Now, 2K is no stranger to using celebrities as playable characters, but in this game is the first time that we got to actually take celebrities and put them in a real NBA setting and play 5v5 with them. And I gotta say, the roster of this team is the most random, most perfect thing ever because they didn't really take the celebrity all-star team from real life that year. They could have just took that team and gotten the rights to use all of those guys and just put that team in the game, but that's not what they did. Instead, they took what seems like a few random pop culture figures who were really popular at the time and a few others who were just kinda there. Starting out the roster for the celebrity team, we have my two favorite players on the team, of course, Calvin Cambridge from Like Mike, because we all know Bow Wow ain't no 92 overall. And of course, the GOAT, the late, great Mac Miller. 93 overall for Mac Miller, 92 overall for Bow Wow. And following them, we got Mr. Grenade Whistle himself, Paulie D of the Jersey Shore at a 93 overall. And I just know that Bow Wow had to be vexed, bro. Bow Wow spent the entirety of the 2000s trying to get the public to recognize his game. Like, think about it, he did Like Mike, all, all of the basketball music videos, and just just all of the, he played, he even played Kobe, he played Kobe one-on-one -on -one to show that he got game, only for 2K to give a juiced up Guido a higher overall than Bow Wow. Then after Paul E.D., we have the artist behind the instant classic Yummy, the Beebs at 91 overall and dang near a foot taller than he is in real life. And then following the Beebs, we've got the comedic actor JB Smooth at Power Forward with the 93 overall. And following him at center, we got the team's heart and soul, the highest overall in the team, as a matter of fact, Sean Kingston. I know y'all expecting some kind of joke. Why is Sean Kingston a 97? Why is Sean Kingston the best player on the celebrity team? I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Got no jokes, got no explanations. We just gonna move along. And so the rest of the team is made up of Vinny from Jersey Shore. And after that, we have Wale, of course. But for some reason, 2K stuck him with a 79 overall, you know, it makes sense, bro. That makes sense. But after that, they have Jesse Williams, who I won't lie, bro. All of those, all of the years after the, when that game came out and everything, I didn't know who this dude was until a few years ago. So, so just, just let me get this out for myself, right? Let me just get this out for my 16 year old self. 2K. Y'all really gave the nigga from Grey's Anatomy, also Detroit Becoming Human, a spot on the 2013 team when J. Cole was in the All-Star Game catching oops. All -star game catching oops nigga. And then following Mr. Gray's Anatomy, we got Meek Millie at a 71 overall, which I think is crazy. They had his song in the game. They probably they told him like, yo, we gonna, we gonna use your song in the game. They probably got a little bag for it. It's like, yeah, we wanna use your likeness too to make you a playable character in the game. Meek Millie was probably ecstatic, bro. He was like, think about it. You're gonna be in 2K. You're an up and coming artist at the time and you're gonna be in 2K, a game that you probably play all the time and then the game come out and your overall is a 71 and they gave Bow Wow a 91 come on bro and then lastly on the team but definitely not least we have Kevin from the office and Kevin is hilarious at an 88 overall we have I don't know how to say his real name and I'm not about to butcher it so yeah Kevin from the office had an 88 overall he a big body bucket getter I'm not gonna lie to you but this team is definitely weird and I can't help but think that 2k had like Initially, they had something else in the works, but maybe something happened because Jesse Williams, JB Smooth, and Vinny 
they all played in the celebrity game that year, the, the year this game came out. And they were on the roster, but guys like Kevin Hart and J. Cole are nowhere to be found. They could have used bigger names, but honestly, I think the reason that I enjoy this team so much is because of how random it is. If you took me back to 2012 and told me to pick the all-star team, I, I probably, outside of the people who were on the real life team, I don't know how many of these guys I would have I would have picked. I would have just been dead wrong. One name they did miss that I think was fairly obvious anyway was Obama, bro. He was already a, a well-known hooper to the public, and he had a player model in the game because every time you win a championship in NBA 2K, it would take it would give you this little cutscene where it would take you to the White House where you meet Obama, and he had a real-life player model in the game. But you know, whatever. Why have the leader of the free world in the game and you can put the dude from Grey's Anatomy in there? That crossover makes sense. It really does. Think about it, bro. I don't think, I don't think I know one dude who is a 2K fan as well as an avid watcher of Grey's Anatomy. I don't, it doesn't exist. But regardless of whatever jokes I crack, this team was a legit super team and it could go head to head with any of those, the all-star team, uh, the, the dream team, 2012 Olympic team. You can go head to head with any of those teams, with this Celebrity All-Star team and this, its band of misfits. So this is a two-part video type deal. Tomorrow I'll be playing a game with this team and we'll just, I'm, I might go 12 minute quarters, I don't know, against a, a random opponent of my choosing. Maybe I'll go Dream Team. Maybe I'll go, like, I don't know, maybe All-Star team. We'll figure it out. But let me know down below in the comments. If you have a specific team that you would like to see me play with the Celebrity All-Star team, let me know. And of course, like and share the video if you enjoyed this. But as always, man, I'm D. Brown Shanhan, and I'm up out of here.